with the halyard fixed, we head into wings and bring the head sail alive. People coming, so now I can get a larger fit. problem with the dinghy. It's making a strange noise. We noticed when we started sailing that the dinghy was doing a strange noise because the system that we, we did it was rubbing uh, it here because it it's actually the first time we're towing the dinghy behind us and so... Well, we don't really know what to do here. So <laughs> even now I don't think it's good but at least it's not making any noise, it's not rubbing on the hyperlon. I'll have to make up some kind of bridle but I first see what other people do because I don't we've think seen, this is that good. We've seen everyone tows it and said, oh, let's try it today and not have the hustle to bring it up. And, and then that happened so quickly. Peter turned uh, freedom into wind and I jumped in. I changed the, the ropes. That jumped the, the, in like spider woman. The way it was attached and put it on the sides, on the rings that it has on each side. And now it looks out it's working good. Yeah, well, we'll do something a bit better. We'll see what other people do. Yeah. Anyway, good. Here is the beautiful Paiutus Island. It stands further east and further out than the usual sandblast islands visited. No one visits here because of the rolling anchorage, so we thought we'd check it out. Oh, it's a pretty rolling anchorage. Margarita's feeling a bit sick. Now the first thing we have to do is get her onto land and go for a walk. The trouble is we've got reefs going all the way around. So I'm going to have to swim it through and try and find a break. Priority, get to land and they should be right in about half hour. Alright, let's do it. To India and Ireland, around Africa and back again. Laguna reckons this is the way in here. Alright, let's do it. You can't risk the brand new dinghy, so I'm gonna swim it. After all, I am an expert in swimming dinghies, as you all know. Okay, looks like we are through. Well, maybe not. There is bloody reef everywhere. Oh shit, there's a boulder. Alright, so we... I'm 
I'm getting into some of that. Now you see some real style people. Margarita has found her favourite island and because Margarita's happy, it's now my favourite island. Look at that, how beautiful. It has so much pretty colours. Look at the colours. Look at the colours. about to prepare for lunch. Oh, I'm in charge of the fried bread. It's a little bit toasted. What's happening, Margarita? And I'm in charge of the tuna dip. So we went to explore this new island and we met one of the owners. And he's here by himself because they do rot the um, normally each island belong to several fami families and they rotate uh, monthly. And this guy is here by himself, and he he gave us two two octopus, and he was really kind. So we decided we're gonna have lunch with him. We're gonna cook the octopus, but since the octopus take quite a while to be cooked, we're just doing some starters. Uh, while we could confide in there and spend some time with him. Well, <laughs> this is crazy, isn't it? Here, mm. we're not sleeping here. The boat's going probably 20 25 degrees either side. We can't stay here. There's not much protection here. This island is not usually visited in this poor That's guys. why there's no boats. There's no boats here. I think it was visited three months ago by um, our friends, Namibian friends. So we're going to go duck in some little inlet down there and come back tomorrow because it's just a delightful island. Um, we'll come back so often he'll probably go, Jesus, when are you guys leaving? Mm -mm. So when we came, I thought we'd be cooking the, the octopus, but um, the lovely Indian had already cooked it for us, so made my job easier. But the recipe will be a bit different. Peter says it's super tender while he's cutting. It's just, it's, it's proven to be quite, way more difficult to cook um, like here on the fire because you cannot control so much the flame. So the rice, it's the water, the quantity I put is already for three, three more doses than the one I did. That's our crappy pressure cooker. It's not worth anything. That's why we're using it on fire because it actually doesn't work as a pressure cooker. Hi Mai, hi Pai, Pope Pai, 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 Pai,
Bloody good. Have you ever wondered where aluminium cans get recycled? That's right, people. They get peeled apart and hammered into rotting parts of Guna canoes. There must be a hell of a lot of fixed up Guna canoes out there. to Tigre Island to spend the night with Delta Rolling. Looks like here used to be the old uh, airport track. But it's not activated anymore, now it's the other island in Ujdupu. Here now it's just one of the main, if you want to call it boulevard in this tiny island. Well, this town gives a very good impression. It's very clean. It's not like Nagana really at all, it's more traditional. And everyone is really nice saying, ah, all the kids come and smile. Yeah, everyone's super friendly. Bloody beautiful. I don't know what it is with my looks, but every time I walk anywhere around these parts, I get offered drugs and cocaine. I don't even touch this stuff. I must just look like it. Margarita's doing the deal now. She's trying to get out of the deal, actually, because everyone just assumes I've smoked. Margaret is still trying to get out of the deal. I think he's pointing to where his stash is. I'm tired. My little possum's a little tired. She had a busy day of lying in the sun and eating and then lying in the sun and then a little bit more like eating. No, I splashed myself in the water too. Oh, you, she, she, I saw three splashes. So yes, it's a full day. We finished off with uh, Tigra and we're going to go do it all again tomorrow at about quarter to six whilst the little possum sleeps for an extra hour until I get there. Alright, well, lovely day in paradise as per usual people signing off. Hope you're also having a good one back where you are. Except for the Norwegians because we know it's like minus 58 degrees or something and it's just terrible. So yeah, it's terrible jobs. May, maybe the Norwegians should move south.